What's up, Rockers fans? Another episode here at 66 Places. Brendan Howe, Jamie Keith from the High Pint on the concourse at Truist Point. Series finale tonight against Charleston. Jamie, thanks for taking some time. Pretty cool room we've got here up on the concourse. The team store is behind the camera. You folks can't see that. And we cannot access this during the game, but you great folks can. Uh, if you come on out to Churros Point, hope to see it here this season. Uh, first Thirsty Thursday of the season, every Thursday, $2 beers and discounted soft drinks. Be sure to take advantage of that. We've got a good ball game tonight, though, Jamie. Uh, last night, another win for you. 11 won the final, a 10 run victory yet again for your club. Uh, coming into a series finale tonight, a chance for your first sweep of the year. What are the thoughts coming up? Uh, you know what? We've taken the series, so uh, whatever happens tonight, outstanding. You know, obviously, we want to go out there. Do what we've been doing to put some offensive numbers up and uh, you know, keep that run total down. Yeah, you know Liam, Liam's coming in and, and throwing for us tonight, and uh, if he can, you know get out there and, and throw the ground balls that he's capable of, uh, and our offense puts some numbers up, we'll be good to go. Well, your offense is putting up incredible numbers. So you lead the league in doubles. You've got Shed Long and Michael Russell atop that list. How good has it been to have Shed Long really come into his own top that order alongside him as well? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, one of the conversations that we had early on, Shed and I was. Where are you most comfortable? Uh, you know, in the lineup, and, and he wants that leadoff spot, and you know, Michael wants that leadoff spot too. And, and to be able to have left right, you know, we can flip flop that uh, where the lefty's going, where the right's going. So it's just worked out great for us uh, up to the, up to this point. And, you know, uh, a lot of excitement around here, obviously, because it's the beginning of the season, and everybody has the, the beginning of the season jitters. Uh, they seem to be kind of out of the way, and, and we seem to have smoothed right into the season. And uh, you know, it already seems like it's you know, we've been here for three, four weeks, and you know, it's, it's just a long home stand for us. So it's exciting for us. We want these fans to come out, uh, make sure that they, you know, get to see the ballpark, get to see the new team, and uh, maybe come into the high point and grab a home. You had a stretch last night, five consecutive innings of scoring a run. You also brought six men to the plate in each of those five innings. How nice is it to have working those bullpen arms in, out of the pen, kind of every other day at this stage of the season when you have the bats working as much as they are, getting them that run support? Yeah, that does help for sure. You know, uh, the last thing we want to try and do right now is get guys to go back to back days. Uh, if we can help it, we're not going to. Um, you know, so far so good. Can't say that that won't change tonight. You know, you're honestly, you're one pitcher, like stem away from you know getting hit or taking or taking a foul, you know, a guy, guy just miss throws a ball or, or uh, gets line drive hit back at him. It's like you know Stemmer had to deal with, uh, and then you really got to go deep into the pen quickly. And, you know, so far so good. I mean, it's going to happen. It will happen again this year. But you know, right now we've been able to get those runs and, and put guys in some non-pressure pressure situations to try and get their feet wet, uh, and, the, and the bullpen's been really good. So. Uh, you know, when, when Rice comes out and he throws as well as he has, um, he hasn't had much to show for it. You know, obviously he doesn't get over on a, on a ground ball yesterday and two days ago. Should have been out of the inning uh, defensively anyway. Uh, but just, again, I think that the, the bullpen's been really strong for us and guys are all comfortable. We're, we're out there uh, swinging the bats and, and it is taking a lot of pressure off the arms. You mentioned Liam, who is taking place with Greg in the rotation tonight. He's coming in. Old. He was with us in spring training, but off for about a week or so, and now coming in, starting tonight for you. What do you hope to see out there? Well, I mean, the big thing with Liam is he stays down in the zone, and his two seamers working, and he's hitting his spots. He can he can run right through the lineup because he gets a lot of ground balls. If he's up in the zone, that's when he gets in trouble. Uh, he knows it. We know it. And uh, you know, he looked a lot better this spring. Uh, really been able to contain uh, that, get that two seamer and that change up working. And when he's down in the zone, like I said, he's a lot of fun to play defense behind because if, he's, if he can stay ahead of the count and make these guys swing the bats, he could be a headache for, for an, off an offensive team. And that's what we're hoping to get out of him tonight. Series finale tonight from Truist Point. Hope to see you there. 635 first pitch. Talk to you tomorrow for another episode of 66 Places.